Farmer Bob here, first week in October. It's a bright, beautiful day and it is harvest time. So we planted the seeds back in May of this year and we've been lucky. We've had enough rain, etc., and good growing conditions. So the crops look nice. I'm anxious to see what the yield would be. As I've scouted the field, uh, I'm gonna say it's probably better than average and especially for popcorn here in Kansas, which doesn't necessarily grow like it does in other places, but we get better popcorn in my opinion. A lower yield, I already know that, no big deal. We don't have irrigation, so it's just dry land, so whatever the rain brings is what we got. But we're looking to fill up this baby right here. It's the grain bin, 25,000 bushel Sukup brand, and I built it brand new last year. Uh, specifically for popcorn. So the only thing that this bin has ever had in it is popcorn. But it's a beautiful day, it's perfect. It's really nice to be out here and it's exciting. It's always fun to uh, reap what you sow as the saying goes, um, put, put the seeds in and you take a lot of risk in farming and it's good to see that we're gonna get a crop today. So let's see how good it is. One step in harvesting is to look at your settings and see how the combine's doing and then make adjustments. Well, last year we left a lot of popcorn on the ground and we're making up for that this year with uh, closer attention to the settings and I think we've nailed it. This, um, this ground is clean. The combine is really a uh, miracle of mechanization. It's a achievement of mankind, really. So as this combine goes along, it's eating up eight rows of popcorn in this case and popcorn's a little bit slighter of a plant, but the method here is it grabs the stalk and pulls it down and pops off the ears. And the ears have husks on them, and those get uh, brought up through the feeder house and into the combine. And in there, it rubs off the or rips off the husk, which is dried and whatnot, and blows that out the back. And then in that process too, it takes all of the different cobs with kernels on them and rubs them all together, and through a couple different processes knocks all the kernels off and in this case it's really really important for us to be gentle and delicate so the combine strangely works better when it's full like you want to jam that thing as full as possible if you have thin fields you have more uh, equipment or metal on the popcorn trying to get the popcorn off of the cobs so uh, why we want to take care of it is because as soon as you crack a popcorn kernel it won't pop so as you go around the field harvesting, the combine has a little bin in the back. It's kind of like a backpack. And uh, eventually it gets full, so you have to pull up to a cart here, a waiting cart, and just start unloading. That unload auger is tremendously powerful, and it's huge. I forgot what it is, probably 10-inch. And it just uh, it unloads grain at an amazing rate. Of course, we try to be as delicate as possible with the grain. This is a necessary step, but we reduce to as few as possible the number of times we have physical contact with the kernel with things such as an auger. And after this step, we take the cart over to the grain bin for final storage. And part of that final storage is the grain drying process. So of course, harvest is always a exciting event because uh, it's the end. You know, you've planted the seeds, raised them up, watched them grow, took care of them uh, over the summer. And in our case, we had enough rain. We're not irrigated, it's just dry land. So whatever God gives us in rain is what we get. And that's what we have to take. So this year, I feel like we're lucky. We planted uh, earlier, about three weeks earlier. We planted much deeper. So we're learning each year. And uh, next year, I think we might actually plant a few weeks earlier than that. So maybe April 20th, we planted May 12th this year. Last year is June 2nd. So uh, keep getting a little bit earlier and I think our climate could, could handle um, April 20th. What that would do is give it a little bit longer growing uh, time and then also earlier rains uh, to, to turbocharge. So there's that, uh, happy that it turned out okay. You never know in farming, you can plant the seeds and they might not even emerge because of uh, this or that. So it's really a miracle when you're able to harvest. And then uh, shot some combine footage and I wish I could have gotten more, but it, we got this harvest done in two days. So we were booking it and it was better to get it done in two days and lock in the victory than to mess around uh, filming. So sorry, I wish I could have gotten more uh, footage. And actually a note on that, I wish I could have filmed a lot more this summer but crazy year and I've been super busy. But what I've been busy with is definitely popcorn. 
But I guess the most important pursuit really is getting quality popcorn. I sent out a lot of stuff this year is my very first product that made it to market and some of it i was proud of some of it i wasn't but i was unknowingly not proud of it until i got feedback so certainly subpar for the brand what i want to put out there so anybody that did order it that hasn't contacted me if you were not happy with it just let me know uh, i'll replace it no big deal even if you have thrown it away or whatever so uh, there you go, that's the end of harvest for this year. I'll tell you, we've already got wheat planted in this field. So for the uh, people who are have a wheat sensitivity or, uh, or celiac or, or whatever, just don't care much for wheat, uh, just know, even though we're growing wheat in this, it's mostly a cover crop. It's uh, property of another farmer. They get the whole crop, so they plant it, they harvest it, etc. But it's a good way to keep the soil covered over the winter and prepare it uh, for future popcorn plantings next year we will not have popcorn on this particular field so we'll have to go somewhere else this is the finney farm we planted popcorn here back to back kind of a no-no but um we did it got away with it so we don't want to press our luck so next year um, it will have the wheat in it it'll come up this fall and grow about june of 2021 we'll harvest that or the other farmer will harvest that then right after that we are going to plant a crop of confectionery sunflowers and that basically is a contrast to oil sunflowers which are commonly grown confectionery is basically edible so um, we'll experiment with that 40 50 acres and see about roasting and toasting those and maybe we'll come out with a sunflower product no guarantees at this point i want to learn about the sunflowers i've got my hands full with popcorn right now so i don't really need another type of product to master but hey the growing uh, rotational cycles of farming it would be good to not keep this land idle uh, for too long so at any rate uh, appreciate all the purchases if you haven't purchased yet um, give it a try let me know uh, what you think of it so thank you very much I'm I'm proud to be your popcorn farmer